Hello everybody and welcome back to the Pokemon Let's Go Let's Let's Play. Blah, flub the flub the opening there. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're not we're not starting again. Uh, last time we helped Bill uh. here turn back into human after transforming himself into a Pokemon, which was weird. And I believe he gave us a ticket for the SSN. So this episode we're very much going to focus on getting to Vermilion City. Get on that damn boat. Yeah, we've been stuck in Bill's house for so long. <laughs> I think we've pretty much turned it into a second home at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we had to isolate ourselves. We had to stay inside, keep ourselves nice and healthy. I, I told myself I wasn't going to reference how long the gap has been <laughs> since the last episode. I told myself I wasn't going to do that, but I can't help myself. It took a bloody pandemic for us to get a new episode <laughs> out. A literal pandemic to finally start recording some episodes. I know, it's ridiculous. Uh, so where the hell are we? Oh yeah, here we are. We're just back on the... next to the bridge. Yeah. Oh, I was one... Oh wait, hang on a second, this is new! Oh, it's like referencing the anime a little bit. I mean, Pokemon Yellow did this where... Uh, a Squirtle got taken by an Officer Jenny, and you had to... Mm. Oh, hang on a second. This... <laughs> okay, no, she chases after it. Okay, that actually... We're not getting Squirtle now, but this is setting up when we do get Squirtle uh, later on in Vermilion City, because that's what Yellow did. Yeah. But before I do that, I'm going to the Pokemon Center, because I did quickly double-check our team, and we do need a bit of a heal-up. Just a little pick-me-up, as a treat. Yeah. Now to remind ourselves, who do we have on our team? Oh, I actually double check, so I wouldn't figure. So uh, I go in prepared. <laughs> Aha! There we go. We got a good team at the moment. God, oh, it's, it's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't keep bringing it up, otherwise we're going to be doing that every episode. Every time. Uh, no, where was I? Oh yeah, that's right, the house. Okay. <laughs> Wrong way, Michael. Wrong way. Yeah, because I was actually thinking, because uh, I, I remember in the original Pokemon, in the red and blue and yellow, uh, that there was a house that you had to go into because Team Rocket did, was doing some shit and you had to go check out this house. And I couldn't remember if we'd already done it or not. Mm. And yep, they trashed that house. Well, I mean, they broke the table legs a bit. No, Pikachu, you're, you're not Detective Pikachu. You're just a, <laughs> you're just a regular Pikachu. Wrong bit of the franchise, wrong bit of the franchise. <laughs> yeah, see, already distracted by berries. <laughs> oh, how dare they? These Pokemon didn't even take off their shoes. I, I know, how rude. <laughs> Sir, report. Hey guys, you're going to really want this ability, right? I love the fact that these two are just so like, oh, this is so irritating, as opposed to being like, oh my god, someone broke and wrecked our house. Excuse me, sir. It's not your yard either. <laughs> No, I don't believe you. I love that. I'm an instant bystander. Don't you believe me? I'll fight you if you don't believe me. Believe me? Okay, sure, I look like a Team Rocket grunt, but that doesn't mean I'm evil. Oh no, eradicate. Whatever shall we do? Thank God we've got a little fire lizard to do the job for us. <laughs> Granted that this eradicate is like a level higher. True. Oh, that was a nasty little bite. Oh, that was not good. Okay, I'm, I think... Uh, <laughs> okay, I take it back. <laughs> shield, I remember you struggling quite a bit last time. But this is your moment. You have type advantage. I'm sure shield's going to be fine. Yeah, fine. Yeah, it took it better than uh, poor Trogdor. Yeah. Oh yeah, because it's a fight to dark type move, so eh, it'd be fine. Ooh, ooh, that that's not. Hey, that's not good at all. Ha! <laughs> well done, Shield. Well done. Yeah, Shield's great when she's being used against Pokemon that are naturally weak to it. <laughs> 
Shield's really good when it's beating up things that can't fight back very well against it. Yeah. I'll leave quietly. Yes, in the back of this van. Well, I guess I better give it back, even though I'm a fully grown adult and you're just a ten-year-old child. Child. I could just bash you on the nose and run for it, but no, I lost. Well, that's what's so great about the Pokemon world, is that everyone's bound by this sort of... Uh... Honor system, almost. Yeah, oh, you beat me in a Pokemon battle, I guess I better give up. Also, I love it that we nabbed him for stealing, and now we're also running away with the TM. Oh, God, yeah, you're right. I should probably... <laughs> 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 Throwing stones in glass houses. They're right. right. Uh, see, see, it's okay because he's <laughs> letting us have it. I don't want it anymore. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually see if any of our party can actually learn it. Uh, Mankey can. Oh yeah, because he said, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Might actually be worth teaching Shield that, especially since our next gym's an electric type gym. I always found Dig is one of those is one of those moves I always teach to as many Pokemon as I can. Cause it always comes in handy. Cause it like always hits hard and it also gives you a turn to dodge. Yeah. Definitely one of the uh, most useful abilities. Hmm. Uh what would I say? Maybe give it a Leer. Yeah, maybe. Because she was just buffing themselves up and whacking. It doesn't need to lower the defense. Yeah, exactly. Just to double check, you can hear the audio all right, can't you? Yeah. Just making sure. <laughs> all right, now to remember how to get to this city. I think we can just go down this way. It's down near the uh, uh, the breeders, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I know we have to go south. I know that much. It's south. I don't know how to get to south, but it's south. Also, that feels a bit dangerous having an electrode out in the open like that. I think we made that same joke last time. Did we? Oh, crap. This is what we mean when we've <laughs> taken so long. <laughs> oh. Right, I wonder if we'll run into any new party members along the way. Yes. Oh god, we're gonna do that naming scheme, haven't we? Yep. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't care how poorly it's turned out for us, we ain't stopping. <laughs> Ugh, that that ditto stool thing looks horrible. Oh okay, we've got to remember to come back here now. <laughs> uh I mean we don't need to leave anyone here. Nah. It's not really that useful at the moment. Yeah, this, this is Gen 1. Eggs don't exist by this point. Can we? Can we get eggs in this one? I'm assuming we can. Do you want to look that up for me? I shall. Give me a moment. Oh, no, I'll take that back. There is no Pokemon breeding and no eggs. Well, yeah, this is a remake of Gen 1. I don't remember an Arcanine being here, though. You mean Growlithe? Growlithe, that too. <laughs> pull, pull, the, pull the anime <laughs> moment there. I, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not joking. That happens in an episode of the anime where Officer Jenny like tells her Growlithe to take down Team Rocket's balloon and she calls it Arcanine. Arcanine! Flamethrower! That's not even the worst case of that. The worst one is in um, Pokemon the first movie where they call Cypher an Alakazam. No, you see, Team Rocket got it deliberately wrong so that the children in the audience could feel much smarter. Did they, though? I mean, that's the four kids' explanation. Ah, <laughs> oh, son of a! Ah! It's alright, we've got Charmander. I know. Yeah, you're right, I was never going to use a Growlithe anyway. <laughs> what is a Jigglypuff? Do we have a Jigglypuff yet? I can't remember. I don't think we do. Would it be great if one day we found a Jigglypuff in the wild and it had the uh, the marker pen from the anime? I'm honestly surprised they haven't like incorporated that into the games at any point. I'm surprised they haven't done that in Go. Like, because Pokemon Go does a load of like 
events where Pokemon have like certain hats and stuff like that. Oh, uh, yeah, you got a point. So I'm surprised they haven't done that for for that. Oh, this, I forgot that. <laughs> Are you having fun with the throwing? I forgot how much I don't like catching Pokemon in this game. Doesn't matter, we caught it though. Yeah, thank crap in Pokemon Sword and Shield we can do it the normal way. I know, right? Oh yeah, by the way, that's come out since we got back to this. <laughs> I know, in the time it's taken, like, the next mainline Pokemon games came out, their DLC got announced, pretty sure some more trading cards got released, and another movie's been announced, and a new anime series has started. So we're just a tad behind. Just a tad. Right, now before we do anything else, we must of course, uh, if I can remember how to get to the PC, That's right, the Pokemon box. Okay, no, we didn't have a Jigglypuff yet, so it's time to give it a nickname. Right, let's see. So, Puff. Uh, ball. Round. Coin. Coin the Jigglypuff it is. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's not the worst one to come up with so Definitely far. not, no. <laughs> Wait, a quiet Jigglypuff? Bullshit! <laughs> the whole point of a Jigglypuff is it sings all the time. No, that's its character arc. It's too it's too shy to sing, and we need to teach it to gain confidence. Uh, I love it. We're also talking about that we're making this is a remake of the first game. There you go. There's no ev uh, there's no eggs or anything. I was about to say evolution, and then that's a terrible. <laughs> oh man, can you imagine? No. <laughs> No evolution Pokemon game, but you know, no evolving. Oh, that'd be weird. We found some great balls. Gotta remember that I need to keep catching Pokemon, because that's the only way to level up in this game. Mm-hmm. And it's tiny. I mean, it looks the same, but it's tiny. Yeah, part, I, I think I remember criticising this before. Well, not criticised, just it's a very minor complaint in the grand scheme of things. But it would have been nice if, like, it actually reflected like that in-game. Yeah. Oh, son of a... I'm sorry, you are a Pidgey. You don't break out of Pokeballs. Now stay in the ball. There we go. Yay, shield's leveled up. Fury swipes. Uh. Uh. No. No. <laughs> Considering the moves it's already got, it really don't need them. Exactly. Like may Fury swipes is like maybe helpful, very early game, but like we're already two gyms in. I we really don't need it. Nope. Plus, it's not a fighting type move, so. Right. You know what? I'm gonna swap out Charmander for somebody else. Or... Yeah. Let's have a look. Let's have our uh, Pidgeotto follow us around for a bit. I forgot that we called our Geodude fruit. I don't even remember how we reached that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either. If I remember correctly, I think, yeah, here he is. It's me! <laughs> oh, Else so we can't go that way anyway. Oh, that's right, because that's Cycling Road, so we got to go take the underground path. Yep. And this is where I'm pretty sure we can catch a uh, uh, Diglets. Is that later? I thought it was like in Rock Tunnel or something. Or am I wrong? Oh my no. god, that, that wasn't creepy oh, at oh. all. <laughs> too close, too close! What did you do to me? <laughs> this was stuck in your hair. You could have just said, hey dude, there's something in your hair. How did I hold a revive in my hair? I was about to say, how did a revive even get there? <laughs> did someone just chuck it at me and I didn't notice? That just seemed like a very unnecessary shipping moment. Is <laughs> <laughs> it fact he's like proper calm moved in? Oh, put the right music behind it, we've got a gag right there. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank you for the ticket. Oh, wait, no, we're giving it. Oh. Yeah, because we got two tickets from Bill, so. 
Yeah, you know, the, the one you abandoned and refused to assist. God. <laughs> Eh, it's all turned out fine in the end. I mean, just forget about the whole thing. Well, everybody else did, even though what, what Bill accomplished honestly should have had bigger ramifications for the world. Just a tad. Especially because I'm pretty sure in other games there are people who want to be Pokemon. This should have been a thing. Hello, Steven Universe. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Steven! <laughs> wow, future was rough on you. Considering the last episode of future, Jesus Christ. I know, right? We'll talk about that after the recording. <laughs> I feel like bringing Pidgeotto down here was a bad idea. Yeah, poor Pidge. Our Pidgeotto sadly got claustrophobia. Well, it's like, you ever seen a bird in like a tunnel? They don't exactly do well in there, I don't think. No. <laughs> Because they fly up and then they're like, wait, hang on a second, I can't fly up any further. Where's the sky? Where's the sky gone? It's like that one time when I used to work at my local card factory and one day a pigeon that I accidentally flew into the shop and couldn't get out. Oh god. I mean, they got out eventually, but it was a brief moment of, oh my god, what do I do? Do I help? Wait, no, I shouldn't help. It might just panic even more. Oh god, but it, ca it can't get out. I want to help. <laughs> Have you ever had that where you like you wanna try and assist in a situation, but you know if you interfere, you'll just make it way worse? Oh yes, <laughs> it's like oh nope, I better stay back and let the professionals do it. I've had that work quite a few times. Oh, I'm sure. Right, that looks like a double battle. Let me double check who, because I, I think Shield's the only one who like really isn't the position to fight. I'll tell you what, hmm. let's, uh... Oh no, Trogdor as well. Trogdor, I'll tell you what, Trogdor, you... Nope, wrong button. Oh my god. <laughs> what have you done, Michael? What have you done? There we go. I don't know what to expect from... Oh, excuse me. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, can we battle, please? Stop ignoring. This isn't a double battle. Oh yeah, because those weren't a thing in Gen 1 either. Yeah. It's so weird to realise, looking back, how much stuff Gen 1 didn't have that's now so commonplace nowadays. It's almost like Gen 1's not the biggest, the best one. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Gen 1ers, but it's true. <laughs> I think we need to tell Game Freak that as well. Church, yeah, sadly true. <laughs> hey, let's give Charizard another form. How about no? No. It's not even just Gen 1 at this point. It's just Charizard. Well, no, all the Gen 1 starters are getting those Gigantamax forms as well now. Yeah, but Charizard gets double. <laughs> no, no, Charizard only got one Gigantamax form. Yeah, but Charizard just keeps it got, getting everything. It got it first. That's it the... got it first. <laughs> but let, let's be real, we all would have been butthurt if Venusaur and Blastoise got left out anyway, so... At least Venusaur's getting something. I'm still mad that the Gen 2 starters never got Mega Evos. That I agree with. Especially, like, Cyndaquil was always my favourite of the bunch. Yeah, where's my Mega Typhlosion? Dude, Mega Typhlosion. <laughs> Mega Typhlosion, Gigantamax Gy Typhlosion. It's so cool. Let's be real, we're never getting a new Mega Evolutions. Game Freak drops that the moment Sun and Moon came out. Oh, yeah. Much like they'll probably drop Gigantamax oh, yeah. in the future. Oh, yeah. Gigantamax, <laughs> and, di the Dynamax feature is never coming back after Sword and Shield. Which is a shame because I've actually liked the raid battles in Sword and Shield. Once you're actually able to get people together. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to uh, talk about Sword and Shield too much, because I'd like to share our opinions for that if we ever cover Sword and Shield as a Let's Play, which I would like to do. Hmm. But, uh, yeah. It, One day. It kind of sucks that Game Freak, rather than sort of focus on enhancing the features that it has, just basically lets them be just one-off gimmicks. Yeah. Especially, again, with the raid battles, there's so much you could do with that. But anyway, we've, we've beaten this guy. Completely ignored the fight. <laughs> oh. Oh, never mind. 
Well, yeah, because they were. I love how they were both having a conversation, and then she only just realised, hey, stop interrupting our conversation. Did you not miss the part where I beat up your friend in a Pokemon battle? Oh, I see. She has the female Nidoran, and he had the male Nidoran. It's like that episode of the anime where the two kids. Oh, you mean the. Ro yeah, the Romeo and Juliet one. Oh, God, yeah, I forgot it was Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Because they were like... Pokemon does Shakespeare. Yeah, where's where's my Pokemon version of Taming of the Shrew? I mean, we've had a Nobunaga spin-off, so maybe one day. Oh god, yeah, we did. <laughs> I want to find that game. I'm sure you can. Hmm, Conquest. I want to see Pokemon do more weird crossovers like that. Hmm. Like, I really want a Koei Tecmo to do a Pokemon Dynasty Warriors. That would be cool. Yeah. In fact, I don't know if you knew this, James, but actually, uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions was originally intended to be a Fire Emblem Pokemon crossover. That would have been... I was about to make that ga as a gag as well. That would have been so good! That would have been interesting. I mean, Tokyo Mirage Sessions is a good game on its own, actually. But, yeah, Fire Emblem Pokemon would have been qu quite interesting to see. Hmm. What, po what Pokemon do you think Krom would, ha would rep? Because let's be real, Chrom would have been in it. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Especially at the time at the time of release. Um, you'd have to have a regal Pokemon. So, hmm. Come back to me on that one. Yeah, okay. Uh, what move are we trying to learn? Uh, Thunderbolt. Ooh, um, I, might, I might get rid of Light Screen. I don't see myself using that very often. Yeah. I know we'll probably get a lot of people complaining about it, but I'll be honest, I barely use any of the defense moves. I'm always offense. I mean, the smart move would probably to have got rid of Zippy Zap, because that's a much weaker electric move, but I don't care. It has a cool cutscene, so I like it. Also, sometimes it's good to have a weaker move as well, so you don't waste your PP on stronger moves. Yeah, exactly. See, we could be strategic when we want to. <laughs> oh god, Chris. <laughs> oh god, that cheeky pub did stand a chance. I'm now remembering how Misty's gym turned out. Oh yeah, I forgot we blitzed that one. Just walked in and went, Cadbury's. Destroy them. <laughs> Eliminate them. I might as well catch this Pidgey as well. How much do you want to bet that we'll encounter a shiny Pokemon at some point on this journey? Hmm. It's... I'd like to say we have a high chance because we're recording, but... Nah. I don't think it's going to happen. I think out of all of the Pokemon games I've played, only once have I ever gotten a shiny. Same. And it was, um... It was... Uh, it was Omega Ruby. Oh, yeah? And, um... This was after I restarted the game, because I missed out on something, so I restarted. Caught the Pokemon, and then I was like, oh, I got something in the long grass, and it was a shiny Zigzagoon. Of all the Pokemon. Of, of all the Pokemon, it was a shiny Zigzagoon. I I've only ever caught uh, one shiny Pokemon as well, and that was a shiny Sneasel during my run of uh, Pokemon Y. Ooh. Nice. And honestly, I only think the reason why I ran into it was because I was doing this really stupid thing where I was using every Pokemon that I caught. And I was mm. keeping them all at the same level. So I would spend hours grinding in the different routes. Oh my god! Oh! Trogdor is evolving. Man, I forgot how crazy the evolution uh, animation is for this game. Like, Sword and Shield's evolution animation was really lame. Yeah, it just ends really quickly. I know, right? There's no fairly any fanfare, but Charmeleon, is yeah! That do, 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 bump. Now it's not going to listen to us for most of the time we play. No, I've got badges. <laughs> oh yeah, we caught a Pidgey. Yeah, that, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> who cares? We've got Charmeleon now. 
Let's have a chicken take Come the on, deal. <laughs> May as well catch this jiggly. Oh no, never mind. I guess I won't be catching this jiggly puff. Oh my! <laughs> Wait, no, I don't want to battle. I want to. Oh, forget. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, so going back to my story, I only think I encountered that shiny Sneasel was because I was taking way too long in the different routes, grinding all my Pokemon up so they were always at the same level. If I was just playing the game normally, I never would have run into that. The game was literally like, look, we'll give you a shiny. Can you please continue? <laughs> I think I remember years ago when I played Pokemon Gold for the first time, I think I did run into a shiny Zubat. But I didn't know what shiny Pokemon were at the time, so it just sort of sparkled. Oh. It sparkled at me. I went, that was weird, and then ran because it's a Zubat. What, what do I care? <laughs> In hindsight, I'm now like, why oh. did I want to catch this? And of course, there's the red Gyarados, but nobody really counts that because that's basically given to you. Yeah, it's pretty much mandatory that one. I mean, you don't have to catch it, but like, when you why you're, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, it's a red Gyarados. Gyarados uh, aren't red. They're supposed to be blue. Blue. I must catch it for science. Oh, there they are. Yeah, they, they didn't leave. And this jig <laughs> this Jigglypuff's a big, big boy. <laughs> now we give you this berry where you go into the ball nice and carefully. Maybe I'm going to give it some more berries because I think the, the circle didn't change that. The color didn't change that much. No, it didn't. There we go. That's oh, that's right. You can't, you can't like, sp stack berries on top of each other, can you? It's got to be like... Nah. It has to be the same berry. Okay. Don't you float away from my balls. There we go. Ah, oh, I knew it. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Hey! Nicely done! I was gonna say, if that didn't count. <laughs> if it if it got away. To be fair, I can't imagine a Jigglypuff managing to run away quite well with its stubby little legs. Yeah. <laughs> it rolls away. Jigglypuff's run speed in Smash is awful. <laughs> it's about to say it rolls around. I guess we'll get the other one as well. Might as well. And this one's a really tiny one. Man, wouldn't it be hilarious if, like, Jigglypuff sings during this and you, your trainer actually falls asleep? That would be... That would have been great. It'd be funny, but it'd be really annoying. No, the other way! <laughs> so that's three balls. I swear. <laughs> I'm trying to throw it to the right. And it throws it to the left. There we go. Let's give some more experience. Chickens leveled up. Gotta, at this rate, I think we're going to be over leveled for Surge as well. <laughs> I think that's one of the problems with Let's Go. It seems to be that you can over level yourself very easily. Yeah. A second seem to have missed a bit over there. There's another trainer. We must defeat them all. I'm taking your stuff, old man. That was a guard spec. I'm never going to use that. I was about to say, do we ever use them? Why did you waste my time, old man? Oh, he is a... Oh, he is a... See, I thought, like, I ran in front of his path and he didn't respond. So I'm like, oh, I guess he's not a trainer. But he is. Hmm. Ah, you're playing Let's Go Eevee, I see. <laughs> I'm playing the far superior version. Yeah, let's wing it. Hey, I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we're at a distinct advantage when we're sending in a giant bird. <laughs> I could very easily carry off this Eevee. <laughs> what animal is Eevee meant to be anyway? Like a fox? I think so? I'm actually going to look that up. Like a, like a fennec fox or something? Wait, no, that's fennekin. 
Well, then again, like, I was about to say. Then again, Game Freak, nothing stopped them from using the same animal as a basis for multiple Pokemon. Hmm. Was it Gem Free that also had the Seal Pokemon as well? Oh, do you mean Sveal? That's it. <gasps> Growlithe! I'm getting. I, I, I don't care if we're not going to use it. I want a Growlithe. <laughs> no, you don't understand. I need the Growlithe. Yeah! Nicely done. Got our very own police dog. Okay. So, the origin of Eevee, uh, Motofumi Fujiwara, who is a key person in the game for he is straight to simple cards on the trading card game, um, designed Eevee. It was based on vague childhood memories of an unknown creature he encountered in the forest. It's not based on any distinct animal, but it reminds him of a fluffy cat or dog-like creature. That's actually kind of interesting. Hmm. The more you know. It's always nice when they go a bit out there with the uh, Pokemon designs. Yeah. Or like the inspirations thereof. Anyway, now we've got ourselves a Growlithe, go and nickname it. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, let's think. Uh, growl. Dog. Cat. Pet. Pet the growl if it is. <laughs> I mean, you should pet the growl if, because growl is a good boy. Exactly. No, that name works. <laughs> it's like with uh, it's like the Hedgehog fan characters, you know, like uh, Jump the Shark. Is that a real sh Sonic it, That's character? not a real character, no, but it should be. Oh. <laughs> The fact that I believed it for a moment. Yeah, no, it's just a, it's a, just a joke for like a. There's like that. There's that. Uh, spank the monkey is one. Uh, there's another really rude one that I'm not going to repeat. I know we swear on this. Uh, <laughs> I know we swear occasionally, but like I don't know. We I have like, some decorum. <laughs> I feel like I feel like that one's a bit too rude. <laughs> I think Spank the Monkey is pushing the envelope. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Never had Pidgey to add to our collection. Yeah, look, we've been on this route for too long already. Let's just get a move on. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I think we're going to be over-leveled for the gym in any race. What do you think, Trogdor? Trogdor! Oh, him and Cadbury's having a little chat. No. Or is he just expressing jealousy? I want to ride on his shoulder! Oh, we've got to fight first. God, can you imagine? Like, you see a trainer with a Charmeleon wrapped around their neck carrying on his back. It's like, oh, God. I want to fight that dude. Isabel, what are you doing here? Get back to Animal Crossing. Mirror, 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 mirror. She hasn't appeared in New Horizons yet for me, so hopefully soon. You know what? Let's just be cruel. <laughs> <laughs> you have a Charmander kid? That's cute. I have a Charmeleon. <laughs> and, and then that Charmander just pulls out Hydro Pump and it's like, wait, what? <laughs> How does that even work? Oh god, this it's just gonna end with these two just bitch slapping each other. <laughs> Turns into the first Pokemon movie. Yeah. Pokemon aren't meant to fight. Not like this. Not like this. I feel like an ammo could probably do some damage, because I don't think it does that high special defense. Maybe. Okay, that was clearly a biting animation. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, you're right. That did do a bit more damage. Pretender. Man, imagine if it's if it really was like the anime. We go, okay, Charmeleon, beat up this Charmander, and it just turned around and went, no. <laughs> I mean, wow. 
dick move. You know, now that I think about it, does this... Because Let's Go is a very, as we've said before, it's a very casual reinterpretation of the original games. Does it even have the whole, like, oh, if you don't have enough gym badges, some Pokemon won't obey you thing? I think it does. Yeah. Pretty sure it does. Let me have a look again. Oh, I should have kept Charmeleon. Oh, yes, you should. Just wanted to give Ivysaur his dues, but no. <laughs> uh, okay, no. Pad's got this. Oh, Pad's so got this. The spell sprout doesn't stand a chance. Nope, it is still there. Oh, it is, okay. But it seems to be at much higher levels. <laughs> the game's not going to go that easy on you. Hmm. To be fair, like, for the current we have, Cerulean, P Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you. So... Oh, okay. <gasps> what? Oh! Again, not going to use it. But we need a Psyduck. We don't need the Psyduck, we want the Psyduck. The Psyduck. <laughs> I was about to say, Premier Balls have the same capture rate as a normal Pokeball, don't they? Yeah, but it looks nicer. True. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> this will work out just fine. Shit! How could you miss? It was three feet in front of you! <laughs> oh, come on, Psyduck, please. I know you're probably gonna... I know you're... He, you see, he's, he's like he knows. He's like, no, you're just gonna put me in the no. box forever, aren't you? You'll have a nice holiday in the box. You won't be on your own. You'll be surrounded by a lot of Pidgeys. By other prisoners, I mean friends. <laughs> well, I got dark. Well done, Capris. <laughs> Always tormented by headaches, oh dear. Poor Psyduck. Here's the thing though, they say it has psychic powers, which it does, so why isn't it part psychic? I got the answer for that. What is it? Hey, look down there. Oh, okay. <laughs> huh, I completely forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> well, apparently there was a thing that Psyduck was meant to have... was meant to be a three-part evolution reline. Is that a rumour, or is that actually a... Uh... I, th I think that's been confirmed. Because oh. there was another, like... Um... There was a Psyduck, a Golduck, and then there was like a, a one in between. I'm honestly still waiting for Golduck to get like a new evolution in a future game or something. And that one will be psychic. Yeah, maybe. Uh, anyway. Or maybe a regional form. Yeah, I'd be down with that. Uh, so Psyduck's nickname, well, Duck. Bird. Wing. Feather. Feather the Psyduck it is. Again, not our worst one. <laughs> and again, we're probably not going to use it anyway. <laughs> it's actually, what kind of moves does it have? Let's have a look. I love that. It's relaxed, but it likes to fight. This Psyduck will, <laughs> this Psyduck will come for you. <laughs> Relax, likes to fight, and constantly having headaches. Ugh. Yeah, I think... Uh, Psyduck's a bit too far behind for our team at the moment. Plus, again, our next bat, our next gym is an electric one, so mm -hmm. it's a you know the uh, the hat Pokemon in Sword and Shield. 
Oh, you mean uh, Hatterain. And we're back. Sorry, there was a behind-the-scenes issue there. Anyway, we'll carry on now. Sorry, you were saying about the hat Pokemon, James? Yes, yeah, so I just love it how they're, they're meant to be... They look so cute and everything, and then it's like in their Pokedex, and they're like, if you bring hard emotions around them, around them they will fight you oh yeah I love, they will hurt you i love that one yeah <laughs> it's like dear god <laughs> yeah anyway that actually took much shorter than i expected i remember that route being much longer as a kid but doesn't matter we're actually here in vermilion so i know not a lot happened this part but i'd like to call it there and we can uh dedicate the whole next part to vermilion city and possibly the gym so uh until next time this is michael beckwith saying goodbye this is james all saying goodbye and we'll see you all next time goodbye Boy!